I think one of the most important things when you're trying to get someone to start investing is making it as simple as possible for them to start investing. And I think Frank has done this really, really well with their app. And today we're going to be reviewing their app because I downloaded it and I've been playing around with it to see how it works. So in today's video, I'll be giving my opinions and thoughts and shout out to them as well for actually sponsoring today's video. Now, before I get into it, I'm curious to know whether you've heard of frank whether you've used frank let me know down in the comments below what your experience has been with them So first things first, you have to get the app. So you get the app on the app store, you sign up with your email address or your phone number, and then you get your account. And once you have your account, it actually takes you through this whole process where they ask you a few questions to help you set a goal. And I think that process is really, really cool because once you have a goal, it makes it so much easier for you to be able to decide what type of investment you need to meet your goal. So I thought that was a very, very cool feature that they had. So once you have your goal set up, you can actually get your identity verified because getting your identity verified is what, what's going to actually allow you to start investing and putting in your deposits and, and actually, you know, invest. So getting my identity verified was also pretty simple. I just needed to um, produce my FICA documents, which is like your ID, proof of residence and so on. Right. And they were pretty quick in terms of getting my account verified and I was ready to actually start investing the same day and deposited money bought my investment and i was good right so the whole sign up process from downloading the app to actually making the first deposit into the account was pretty straightforward i think it makes it easy everyone can actually understand what is happening now the part that i was mostly interested in is the actual investments that they offer outside of you know having a cool app that really works really really well so they have two investments they offer an Allen Gray money market account as well as a Citrix top 40 ETF. So those are the two options that you have on their platforms. You can actually invest in both a money market account as well as an ETF, or you can choose to invest in just the one depending on what your goal is, right? Now let's chat about these investments really quickly because I think this is a very important part or a very important consideration to make before you decide which one you go for on the Frank app, right? So the first one is the Allen Gray money market account. So money market accounts do not return as much as in, you would expect from an ETF and so on, right? Because the whole entire idea behind money, money market accounts is that they just it keep up with inflation really, right? So they don't make you a lot of money. So those accounts, I think, are really cool for things like your emergency fund or short-term savings and things like that because they help you keep up with inflation. But I think outside of that, you don't want to be putting any like long-term investment money into an Allen Gray money market, money market account, right? But of course, this is just opinion and you can do what you need to do with your personal finances these are just opinions i'm not a financial advisor and the second investment that they have is the citrix top 40. the citrix top 40 is invested in essentially the top 40 performing companies in south africa and i think this is one of the most popular investments in, when it comes to etfs so if you were investing for the long term or you're trying to really build up your investment, then investing in the Citrix Top 40 would make more sense than investing in the Allen Gray Money Market account. But those are just my thoughts around the investment accounts and which one you would choose in different situations. But obviously, do make your own choice, right? But they do offer those two options on the Frank platform, which I think really does give you a really cool you know, couple of options to, to choose from. And the fact that it's only two options, I think also helps with the whole decision paralysis thing, right? When you have a lot of ETFs to choose from or a lot of stocks to choose from, a lot of money market accounts to choose from, it can feel really overwhelming. But they made it really simple to say, okay, you can either choose a money market account or an ETF. You really do have only those two choices and it makes it simpler to get clear on what you need and which one you should you should go for. So those are the two investment options that they have available on their platform. As you guys know, every time I talk about investments, we have to talk about fees because 
fees are so so important when it comes to investing because they can really erode away at your return right so what fees does frank charge so the short answer is they charge you one percent of your investment portfolio per year right but there is also the consideration of the fees that you are charged per transaction when you buy into your ETF. And I think the Citrix Top 40 ETF charges, I think is 0.3%. That fee is actually separate from the fee that Frank charges. And I think that's an important distinction to make is that Frank will charge you the 1% per year fee, right? But you also have the 0.3% transaction fee that you have on your ETF that you still need to pay, right? Also, I'll leave more detailed information on this in the description box below. Also, you guys can know the exact numbers. They also do have this information on their website. And I'll also have a link to that, their website in the description as well so you can check that out because i think fees are very important to understand before you make an investment and honestly the fees are really low which is why it makes it so much more accessible right compared to maybe investing through more traditional ways with a bank and so on where you have a lot of other charges or when you're investing with the investment your own personal investment broker where you have an investment manager and all of those things right so they make it really simple in terms of cutting down those fees because that is what really eats away at a lot of investment growth now this is something that I, I thought was really cool when I found out they actually do was they actually allow you to open accounts for minors right so you know how with the tax-free savings account you can open an account for your child as long as you have their ID number and so on the same applies with the frank investment platform you can actually open an account on the behalf of your child and actually invest on on their behalf and i think that's a really really cool feature and i really wanted to to mention that one before i forgot but that really has been my experience with frank i think it's really simple to use i think it's makes it so much simpler to also decide on the investment that you want the fact that they help you set up your goal i think is so awesome their fees are low which makes it so much more accessible and allows you to keep more of your investment growth and i really do think it's a great option for anyone out there starting out with the investment journey especially if you're not sure what to invest in and so on they really do help you help you figure out a lot of that stuff so yeah i will leave a link to frank down in the description below if you are interested in checking them out as well if you do end up checking them out i would be very interested to know what your thoughts are after you try them out for a couple of weeks or a month or, or whatever time frame so yeah guys that is all about the frank app i definitely recommend checking it out especially for anyone starting their investment journey and shout out again to frank for sponsoring this video i i absolutely love working with brands that help my community to grow so thank you so much for working with me and guys i will chat to you next week in my next video bye